welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble, your astrologer and tarot reader, here with your readings for July the 1st through July the 7th. These readings come, come in three sections, guys. First the intro, then the astrology report, and then the tarot reading. And there will be skip times if you're checking out your sun, moon and rising in the show more section below. Um, so look out for that. Sometimes it takes me a minute to get all the links to the other videos down there, um, but check them out. Um, these are general readings, guys. Please don't assume that everything I say here is applicable to you. Um, just take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you would like a personal, more tailored reading for you, um, go to my website. The link to my website is below and just check out the kind of readings that I offer. Um, firstly, I want to really apologize uh, for last week. I only got eight, I think it was eight, readings out. Um, and I, I got some tragic and uh, shocking news. I, I recently interviewed um, a wonderful astrologer, um, Dan First, and um, we recorded the interview on June the 13th, and we planned to release it on the 1st, right before the eclipse, um, but unfortunately he passed away on June Sunday, June the 23rd. So I was, uh, I was just, I just didn't have it in me to do the readings. I was deeply saddened and um, I, I'm very upset at, um, about that loss. Like, anyway, I'm sorry. I, um, out of respect, I asked his family permission to release it as we agreed upon the time that Dan and I had agreed upon. He was excited about it. I'm excited about it. It's really a great subject. He was an astro cartographer. Um, so check that out on Sunday night. Um, oh, sorry, Monday night, Monday, the 1st of July. It's 6.15. It'll be released as a premiere. So I will be t attending and watching with you and I can answer questions during it. Um, so a big thank you to Dan's family for allowing me to do that um, and honour him because he was such a lovely soul. Um, so what else? Um, if you haven't joined my Facebook group, uh, the link is below. Join the Facebook group. Every two weeks I do a live at five and I do a little astrology and then uh, afterwards, you know, I have my cards and I answer questions. So we have a great time. So uh, join that group and um, I'm doing live at five tomorrow. That's Monday, the 1st of July, just before the uh, premiere of Dan First interview. Um, so join me. So let's, uh, without further ado, let's go to your astrology report, shall we? And before I go, happy World Pride. Um, New York is buzzing with pride and love and color. It's so wonderful. So happy Pride to everyone. Hello everyone and welcome to the astrology section of your reading. And so much is happening this week. It is wild and crazy. Um, starting off on Monday, the 1st of July, Mars, the planet of passion and action and courage, is moving into Leo. Also courage, passion, fire, uh, and open heart. So this is a really big shift in energy and we're probably feeling it on Sunday. It's like we, it's about you know, saying what you mean. It's about being passionate. It's about taking action. It's about moving forward. It's about being heart centered. And um, so that's a lovely energy. We just have to be careful. There's, you know, of course, fire, there's two sides to passion. You know, fire is that, that wonderful sensual passion. And then there's that angry passion, right? So we have to be aware of that for some of us. Now, where it happens in your chart depends on how it affects you. If you would like to 
know more about that and would like a personal reading you can go to my website and um, and book a reading with me that can give you some more insight on how that will affect you and all the other aspects that are happening this week now the big 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 news is this total solar eclipse in cancer um, and it's a very very powerful it's it's you know it's that um, cancer uh, Capricorn kind of energy that's going to play out through to 2020 now this is a beautiful um, it's all about our home right because cancer is about home it's about nurturing it's about family it's about our roots so it's all about what's going on at home now eclipses are about change they shake things up sometimes there's a little fear there for some of us because the inevitable happens when an eclipse comes into um, play and um, we have this beautiful relationship going on at the same time with Neptune right so Neptune is in a trine uh, to this eclipse and um, and, and also, this is you know a total uh, solar eclipse. So this is a new moon. These are new beginnings. So depending on which where it lands in your chart, of course, it's in Cancer. So Cancers are going to feel different. They're going to come out. They're going to be renewed. Um, this is happening in their first house of their identity, who they are. Um, what's happening for them what's changing within you um, and uh, you know it happens with each sign in a different house so it, it, it happens with in a different way to each person now um, we have you know it's going to be about relationships for cancer because we've got um, Saturn the planet of lessons structure and rules is opposite right so this is bringing in some you know sometimes these lessons aren't aren't, aren't uh, pleasant but they need to happen they need they need to happen for us to grow and we need to grow so we will be looking at perhaps especially cancers will be looking at relationships what relationships do we need to repair what relationships no longer serve for us um, what behaviors no longer serve us what is it that's holding us back um, so it's really a time of self-reflection it's also you know a time of uh, taking care of ourselves are we getting enough sleep are we getting enough nutrients are we getting enough exercise those kind of things we need to really look at ourselves and are we taking care of ourselves during this time we need to nurture ourselves, right? Um, so eclipses can have a little fear because change, you know, nobody likes change. And so, it, you know, and things happen in a way sometimes that are um, disconcerting. Um, but if we can embrace that change and we can really see, it's kind of karmic too because, you know, uh, Saturn is, a, is the Lord of Karma, right? So this is a whatever has been at play for a while is going to kind of come out and is going to be we're going to be forced to look at some things um, about ourselves and about our relationships or you know if you're if you are um, a Taurus it's going to be about finances you know and and so on so you know Gemini about communication and <clears throat> so anyway I'm not going to go into the actual um, details on each sign, but it is a huge and powerful um, eclipse. Now, we really need to raise our vibration during this time and really um, take notice of our internal dialogue and don't let us uh, criticize ourselves drop it if we if we notice that we need to change that we need to have the highest vibration at this time to get us through a meditation if you're into it is wonderful for that for raising our vibration um, now the next big thing is on Sunday the 7th when 
Uh, Mercury stations retrograde. Yes, darling, every summer Mercury goes retrograde. And here it is again. Um, so it is in Leo at the moment and it is about to backtrack and it by the mid-month I think it will be in Cancer yet again. This is always a time of reflection, right? When Mercury goes retrograde, it's a time to go in. It's a time to look at ourselves. It's a time to reorganize, regroup, get our ducks in a row um, and get all our ducks in a row because we need to be ready to go forward. It's not like you stop doing anything. You know, Mercury uh, rules electronics. It's the intellect. It's important to look at how we communicate and, um, you know, reflect on what changes that we can make going, going forward. Organize, you know, reorganize. You know, listen, I always say declutter the mind is meditation, right? Declutter your home. You know, do things, work with the energies. When you work with the energy of a planet, you kind of, it's like having a little motor in your back and you're, you know, it's like going from a rowboat to a motorboat right that's what we want we want the we want to be propelled by the universe we want to work with the energies of the universe to to get our life forward to move forward more productively and happily ultimately happily right um, and we'll be moving up to a lunar eclipse mid month and we I'll talk about that uh, probably in the next uh, astrological report. So without further ado guys, let's go to your tarot reading, shall we? Hello Pisces and welcome to your tarot card section of your reading for July 1st through July 7th. I apologize for not getting your reading out last week. Unfortunately, Dan First, whom I'm interviewing on, or I interviewed, um, passed away after the interview, seven, I think 10 days after the interview, and we're releasing that on Monday, so I hope you will be there. It was such a fun interview. It was so lovely working with you. I'm just sorry, I just didn't have it in me to give, um, so I didn't finish the readings, and I do apologize for that, but I'm here this week, darling. So, Pisces, what wonderful blessings, guidance, and helpful information. Can you give Pisces for this coming week? Okay, three cards for Pisces. Oh, there's two. I can't knock that off. One more card for Pisces, please. Your <clears throat> The eclipse is happening in your house of romance and creativity. Children, actually, as well. Um, your fifth house is happening, so there may be some changes there. New romance could come in. Who knows? Um, okay. Let's go to your clarifying cards. I'm hoping to get these all out. I am hoping that... Uh, YouTube doesn't give me a hard time uploading these videos and we can get them out tonight, if not tomorrow morning for sure. Um, I'll definitely stay up all night till I get that done. <laughs> I do that a lot. Maybe I need to change that. That might be something I need to change. Um, okay, so please clarify. There it is. Please clarify. Oh, there it is. Gosh, this card has come up so much, I can't tell you. Okay, please clarify. There it is, lovely. Oh, okay. Here we are, darling. Let's look at your cards. Okay. The first card out for you is the Seven of Cups. Clarifying the Seven of Cups is the Nine of Swords. Then you have the Three of Pentacles, clarified by the Five of Wands. 
Then you have the Five of Cups. Clarifying the Five of Cups is the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Gosh, I turned the AC off because I was cold and now I'm already hot. Okay, so the first card out for you is the Seven of Pentacles, Pisces, and that's really, it's like confusion. It's you don't know what to choose, where to go. You, you don't know which direction to go in. There are so many opportunities that you don't know. And I don't see any bad opportunities here. Um, clarifying this, however, is the Nine of Swords, which tells me that you are just afraid to make a decision or to go in a direction. Because all you can think of is the worst case scenario. And so the Nine of Swords is about, you know, thinking uh, negative thoughts and nothing's going to work out for you and, and just going down the rabbit hole. It's like you've gone down the rabbit hole. This is like losing sleep. It's like sleepless nights and just worry. Worry is a waste of energy, darling. Worry doesn't solve anything. It's not going to solve it. It's not going to change the situation. It's not going to solve it. It's just waste. Just It keeps you from being in the solution and taking action. So it, this worry is keeping you from making this choice. And the only way to make this choice is through meditation. Seven is introspective. Go inside. Quieten that mind, Pisces. It's like you, it's you're too sensitive almost you you you've got to quiet that mind don't don't be don't be led by emotions or immobilized by emotions so the next card you have is the 3 of pentacles this is asking you to really hone your craft become the expert if you are the expert become an expert teacher you know, there's always a higher level. So this is about giving your craft or your talent um, the attention and the uh, and the time that it deserves. Now, the eclipse is happening in your house of romance and creativity, and this is about this is how you focus creativity, right? This is about being so in the moment that you're just in the zone because you're just and when you are in creativity and that's your fifth house you are connected to the divine you are connected to the, the ethereal realm now clarifying it you have the five of ones and this is like conflict right this is like silly conflict it's like something that you need to handle this could be at work. And if you handle this, you will be um, recognized for your problem solving. You'll be, um, you'll be rewarded. You will be noticed uh, that your leadership qualities will stand out from it. But I'm kind of getting for some of you, this is an internal conflict. And, and, and that's probably what's happening here too. So there's a lot going on inside for you. And, it, and you're being asked to really focus on the present moment. And I think the only way you can do that is through, you know, is through uh, meditation. Now, the next card is another five. Five is about change. So there's a lot going on for you. Pisces and, you, and it's you just don't know which direction to go in and this is about you focusing on what hasn't worked so this is the same thing right the worst case scenario it's the worst case scenario and you're focusing on what hasn't worked and nothing's going to work out for you and it's never going to happen for you or what am I going to do but what when the five of cups comes in you're looking at your cup as half empty and you're being asked to look at it as half full Look, whatever spill, it's gone. You can't get that back. It's it's darling, it's in the past. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. You have two whole cups here. That's what you need to be focusing on. You need to be focusing on what you do have, what abundance you have in your life, what wonderful people and things and 
and and it, you're being asked to be creative at this time right you know don't look at what hasn't worked out and don't, no regrets darling drop it like a hot potato it's not what you it's gone you can't have it why focus on it and the thing is, is you have the nine of pentacles, darling. You have everything you need. You are almost at the finish line, but all you're doing is focusing on the stuff that hasn't worked out for you. And you need to be grateful. And you, the gratitude is the only antidote for this, right? Gratitude. When you are grateful for what you have, you are attracting more things to be grateful for. Um, and look at this. She's abundant. She's got all her needs. She's, you know, she's living in lavish lifestyle. She's love it. She's loving it. Just be careful not to be too lavish, <laughs> not to be too, not to spend too much, not to live beyond your means. But um, don't be in that place of, you know, what you what you haven't got, you know. Think of the cup as half full as opposed to half empty and come out of that negative. Every time you find yourself in a negative thought, cancel it and replace it with something positive. We have to be at our highest vibration during this eclipse. It's really important. If you focus on something creative, like creating, painting, or whatever it is that's, that, that feeds your soul, what you are good at, whatever you can create, will raise your vibration naturally and you will be in touch with the divine and you will get through anything and the and the and the fog will clear you'll no longer be in the worst case scenario you'll be in euphoria when you're creating something creative when you're doing something creative Pisces, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video, share it with friends, family, or, or social media would be great, and comment. I live for comments and feedback. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Mwah. I love you all, and I'll see you next week, or hopefully I'll see you Monday um, for Live at Five in my group, and then afterwards for Dan's interview.